Hey everyone, welcome back. We're going to start our DIY with the top of this candle from the Dollar Tree and also this small tea light holder from the Dollar Tree. I believe this comes in a pack of three. If you can't find these, you can go ahead and use the small glass bowls also from Dollar Tree that come in a pack of four. And I'm going to take them outside and give them a coat of paint with this Rust-Oleum flat black spray paint. Once they have dried, I'm going to bring them back in and I'm going to make a DIY using this little pumpkin candle holder also from Dollar Tree. So turn the little bowl over, add a generous amount of hot glue or whatever adhesive you would like to add right there to the top. Add the pumpkin candle holder to the bottom of the glass jar, press down. And for the top, I wanted to add a little bit of an extra something, so I cut off a piece of this black glitter ribbon from Dollar Tree as well. And using hot glue, I'm going to add it to the edge all the way around the top. And now that that's done, I just want to show you that it will fit perfectly right on top of our new little pumpkin lantern. Just that quick and simple, our little DIY is done. For our next DIY, I'm going to take two of these wall shelf units from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to take them outside and give them a coat of paint with the same Rust-Oleum flat black paint. Of course, again, you can use whatever paint you would like in whatever color would go with your decor. Now that they've dried, I've brought them in and I've laid out six of the large wood craft sticks from the Dollar Tree in the bottom. If you would like to, you can trace out the bottom of the shelving unit over foam board and cut that out and paint it black and you can use that as a bottom as well. I wanted this wood look so I'm using the craft sticks. Now I'm going to cut one large craft stick in half to cover up that extra space on either side. And now I'm using some black acrylic paint. This is the Deco Art brand from the Dollar Tree to paint all of the craft sticks black. Initially, I only painted one side, but I did go back and paint the other side. So both sides of the craft sticks will be painted with this acrylic paint. And to bind them together, I decided to lay two of the large craft sticks across them. So I'm going to go ahead and give those a coat of paint as well. Guys, when you do this project, if you do this project, lay your craft sticks inside of the shelving unit and then glue these two craft sticks across them because I made a mistake. I thought that they lined up perfectly like this and then they would fit inside of the shelving unit. They do not. So lay your loose craft sticks down in the bottom of your shelving unit first and then take these two craft sticks and glue them to the craft sticks while they are in the shelving unit. I hope that makes makes sense. 
because when I tried to place these in the shelving units, you can see right there, I was getting some resistance. It's because they don't line up perfectly to fit in the bottom. So what I did was I ended up taking them out and clipping the ends of those craft sticks right there, but they still didn't fit perfectly. And it ended up scraping the side of the shelves and taking some of the black paint off. So I just used a little bit of acrylic paint to cover up those areas where the paint was scratched. So learn from my mistakes if you do this project. So that's what the inside of it looks so far. And I've done the other one as well. That's what it looks like. I actually really love the back of it. I think if you hung it up like that with the back showing, that would actually be really cute. But I am going to make a tear tray out of these. So I am going to need the front. To connect them, I'm going to take two of these large bamboo skewers that Dollar Tree had during the summer, and I'm going to paint from the pointed part to about halfway of the bamboo stick black. I won't be using all of that, but I wasn't sure how much I would need. So I did go about halfway up and I painted two of the bamboo skewers in that way. Once they dried, I found the length that I wanted and then I cut them down to size. Now, if you look at the shelving units, they do have two little holes on the inside, on each side, just like that. So I'm going to put the pointed end of the bamboo skewer through the hole with the pointed end facing away from me. And I'm gonna do that with the other hole as well. And I'm pushing it until it won't go down anymore. And then I'm going to take uh, some hot glue and glue it in place at the bottom and also on the inside. Of course, if you want to use a stronger glue, you're more than welcome to do that. I wasn't sure how permanent I wanted this project to be, so I did just use hot glue. And then I'm going to clip off the pointed end of the bamboo skewers from the bottom. And this is now the bottom of our tear tray. Now I'm just using some black acrylic paint to paint over the hot glue so it doesn't stand out so much. And I'm going to do that on both sides and anywhere the tray was scratched. and then on the top of the skewers as well. That wasn't necessary, it was just bothering me. <laughs> so I painted it. Now I'm going to use a couple of dots of hot glue on the top of the skewers to connect the top tier tray. I wasn't going to publish this video because this was a learning process for me. I made a lot of mistakes in making this tray, but these were the only two uh, shelving units that I had, so I didn't have a second go. It was these trays or nothing. So I decided to go ahead and share with you guys how I did make the tray. These are the little round copper colored tacks from Dollar Tree and I use some pliers to take off the pointed side and I'm hot gluing the little round part to cover up the holes on the top of the tray and then using black acrylic paint to cover up the copper. You can use leave the copper color if you'd like to. It does look beautiful against the black. To help stabilize our here tray I'm going to take some tumbling tower blocks and paint them in black I painted a total of 12 of them black and then I'm going to use some hot glue and what I want to do is to help stabilize the bamboo skewers so they don't move around so much you see how loose that is that's what I want to eliminate so now I'm taking 
another set of building blocks and hot gluing them in place just like that. And I'm limiting where the bamboo skewer can move. I also put a line of glue right in the middle of the tumbling block. So the skewer will adhere to the tumbling block as well. And you will see it will limit how much those skewers move and look how much more stable that is. It's not as stable as if you were going to use nails or screws, but for glue, it's holding up pretty well. And I did take the top tier of the tray off to do that part. And now I'm adding hot glue to the top of the skewers again to add our top tray. Now I've turned it upside down, so what you're looking at is the bottom of the top tier of our tier tray. And these are more of the tumbling blocks that I painted black. And I am hot gluing them to either side of both skewers to help stabilize them. So I'm taking hot glue and I'm adding it to a long side of the block and then a corresponding short side and I'm gluing it to the bottom of the tray as well as the skewer at the same time. So I did wrap some jute twine around to help cover up those blocks. I didn't like the way that they looked. And I added some around the top of each tiered tray as well. And I just wanted to shake it so you could see how much more stable it is using those tumbling blocks. I did use a lighter to burn off all the fuzziness from the twine. Now I'm going to take this sign that I got from Dollar Tree and I just want the top part. But I'm just sizing it up to make sure that it will fit, and it does. So I'm just using a couple of dots of hot glue right in the corners there, and I'm going to glue it down and holding it, it in place until it sets up. So here is our cute little lantern. This is an LED candle inside of it right now. You can obviously use a real candle, however you will need to take the top of the lantern off. I picked up this LED candle from Joann's, it was on clearance. But you can use the little tea light candles, the LED tea light candles from Dollar Tree as well. And I think it's so cute. Here is our tear tray while it is empty. And I really, really like the way this came out. Drop a comment below and let me know what you would use this tear tray for. And I decided to go ahead and put some fall items inside of it. These are some of my past DIYs and I also put some fall florals from Dollar Tree in the top of it. Very adorable, very cute, and a very unique tiered tray. I decided to take the topper off to show you what it would look like without it and how you could style it. I hope you enjoyed today's project, our cute little jack-o'-lantern lantern, a <laughs> cute little pumpkin lantern, and our unique wall shelf tear tray. 
Drop a comment below and let me know if you prefer the tiered tray with or without the little pumpkin autumn topper to it. I would love to know which way you prefer it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please go ahead and subscribe for more of my DIYs. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube will let you know when I've uploaded a new video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will see you in my next one. Until then, have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.